Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing yet another drawer from my makeup collection and today we are going to look at all the highlighters I have. Now in this particular drawer, I know it looks a little messy, it's because I keep my blushes, highlighters and contour products all in one drawer. And I used to have better organization when I was in the US, but I had to get rid of a lot of the organization storage containers. So I'm still on the hunt for finding more since I've moved to the UK. So this will look better in the future. But for now, let's look at the highlighters. So the back here, I have like cream and liquid highlighters. And in the front, I have my powder highlighters. So I think I'm going to start with my liquid and cream highlighters. So this first set is from Becca and it was probably a part of a holiday collection and it had like these three mini liquid highlighters. So the first one is the shade called Pearl, the next is Champagne Gold and the third is Opal. So these are what the three highlighters look like and then here I'm showing you how they look like once they're blended out. They're really nice and subtle and you can mix it with your foundations or just apply them on their own. They look really lovely. I think the gold one is particularly beautiful on deeper skin tones. I would say medium to deeper skin tones. While the other two shades look good on light to medium skin tones. Next I have this little sample from Burberry which is called their Fresh Glow Illuminator. And it just looks so luminous and lit from within. It doesn't seem to have those glitter particles that all my other liquid highlighters have. So this is more of a subtle, you know, everyday glow from within kind of an highlighter very finely milled shimmer particles. Next we have this Benefit What's Up Cream Highlighter. Again, this was a sample, I think one of the birthday gift sets that you get from Sephora. And this is what it looks like swatched out. And then on blending, again, slightly more intense than the Burberry one, but very similar shade. Next we have another product from Benefit. This is their liquid highlighter called Sunbeam. And it's this beautiful gold liquid highlighter. Really pretty on the skin. I would say this looks great on medium to dark skin tones. Next we have a NARS Coco Cabana Illuminator. And this is more of a cool toned highlighter. So it's more pinky silvery tones. So it looks best I feel on lighter skin tones. And as with all liquid highlighters, you can apply it on their own. Or you can mix it with your foundation to give a luminous finish to your foundation. Then we have the cult favorite, probably one of the first few liquid highlighters that I have, uh, which is the MAC Strobe Liquid Lotion. There is a cream version if you have uh, normal to dry skin, but I prefer the lotion because it's slightly more lightweight. So it has this beautiful pinky, golden, silver undertone. It just looks very beautiful on the skin, especially when mixed in with your foundation. So this is one of my favorites. And because this is such a subtle highlighter, I feel this would go well with all skin tones. Next we have this beautiful liquid highlighter by Inklot. And it's the AMC Face and Body Illuminator in the shade 65. And as the name suggests, it's great on the face and also on the body. So you can use it on its own or mix it in with your foundation. And you can see it's such a beautiful golden bronzy tone. This looks best, I feel, on medium to dark skin tones, especially darker skin tones. You're going to love this one. Then we have another one which is great for darker skin tone. This is by e.l.f. And it's called their All Over Color Stick. And this is the shade Toasted. And it's a cream highlighter and again, a nice bronzy tone. So great for deeper skin tones. Next, we have another liquid highlighter from Benefit called Moonbeam. And this is quite unique in my collection. This has like a pinky golden tone to it. So as you can see, when it's blending out, it's more that pinky vibe to it. It still looks beautiful, I think, on light to medium skin tones. Then we have this Marc Jacobs Spotlight Cream Highlighter which is a champagne gold color and I think looks great on all skin tones. Then I think this is the last liquid highlighter I have. This is the Marc Jacob Dew Drops highlighter and it is super intense. So you really need a very small amount if you're going to apply it on its own and also a tiny amount if you're going to mix it with your foundation. Moving on to powder highlighters. This first one is by Tarte and it was part of a mini blush kit. So I know it was called a blush, but it's totally not a blush. I don't see it as a blush on any skin tone. So this is the shade Angelic. And 
this is what it looks like think great on probably light to medium skin tones this is one of my all-time favorites it's by laura geller and it's the highlighter gilded honey and it is amazing i think this looks stunning on medium to darker skin tones such a beautiful gold highlighter then one of the classics again by mac it's the soft and gentle highlighter which is beautiful it's a very subtle pink based highlighter i think this is such a versatile shade again and it looks great across all skin tones Next, we have the Super Intense Matte Luminizer by The Balm, which is again a champagne gold. And as you can see, right next to Soft and Gentle, it is much more gold toned. I feel this looks great on almost all skin tones. Next, I have two powder highlighters from Becca, and the first one is Opal. It looks more cool toned. And the second one is Champagne Pop, which is a beautiful peachy gold shade. You see right next to each other. I would recommend Champagne Pop if you're a Indian skin tone, so medium to deeper skin tone. Next, my new favorite, which is the Dose of Colors Mira May. Again, a beautiful gold and rose tones to it. I think this is super versatile and looks stunning on medium to darker skin tones. Then we have this gorgeous highlighter from Makeup Forever. And this is their Pro Fusion highlighter in the shade 02. And it's an amazing gold highlighter. And it's such finely milled that it's just amazing, is all I can say. So as you can see, they are quite different in tones. Next, I have one of these cult favorites. This was probably one of the first highlighters that I purchased and it was such a big rage back then. And this is the Amber Diamond Shimmer Powder by Dior and it is beautiful. So you can use these individual shades as eyeshadows or just swirl across all of them to get this beautiful highlighter. I would say the shade is again very versatile and would suit more skin tones. The next one is a similar format from Bobbi Brown. And it's called their 24 karat shimmer brick and again you can use the individual shades or you can just swirl all of them together so these two as you can see are very similar just that the dior one is slightly more pink toned than the bobby brown one great on various skin tones next we have one of my favorite highlight palettes it's by viziat and you get three shades in this highlight and contour palette and it has a shade for all skin tones so you can have the first lightest pearl like shade for lighter skin tones you have the pinky shade for medium skin tones and you can always mix and match these so i constantly use a mixture of these three shades for my medium skin tones but the gold on its own would be amazing on darker skin tones then i have the cat 1d shade and light palette so again these are matte highlighters you can use to you know clean out under your cheekbones or use it as a matte highlight so we have these three shades which look quite similar but i get the most use from the metal shade which is the more yellow banana shade then i have this duo from mac which has the highlighter on the top and a matte powder at the bottom this is what that looks like and i think this looks great on lighter to medium skin tones and then finally, I have the sample from uh, Becca, which is their shimmering highlighter in the shade Topaz. And this looks beautiful on darker skin tones. And then finally, I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. The first shade is a matte satin finish, but the other two can be used as highlighters. Sorry, I forgot to record this one uh, under the other lighting, but this is what the swatches look like. So that's it guys that's all the highlighters i have i never thought i would end up with so many highlighters because i have oily skin but this is my collection so far i really hope you enjoyed watching this by the way if you enjoyed these makeup collection videos please give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye Open eye, feel the waves cut through me